I found a dragonfly wing. I thought it might be fun to look at under a microscope. And I'm going to go ahead and share 14 fun facts about dragonflies from the Smithsonian Magazine, written by Sarah Zielinski. So I guess dragonflies were some of the first winged insects to evolve some 300 million years ago. Modern dragonflies have wingspans of only two to five inches, but fossil dragonflies have been found with wingspans of up to, get this, two feet. Kind of crazy. So this kind of reminds me of stained glass. Thank you for your patience. I'm not exactly an mm, expert with this microscope. But it's fun just the same. I want to show you some weird things that I noticed up close. We just have to get there. <laughs> okay. Check that out. I don't know if you can see it, but... There's like these weird hairs on those little veins. Can you see that? Kind of strange. All right, second fact. Some scientists theorize that high oxygen levels during the Paleozoic era allowed dragonflies to grow to monster size. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway. Every time I accidentally breathe on this, it moves around and I have to readjust it on the paper and it kind of has this weird feeling when I do that. And I couldn't figure out why until I zoomed in really close and saw these hair things because I'm pretty sure that's what's grabbing onto the paper, the fibers of the paper. Just kind of, oh yeah, there we go. Now you can really see them. Number three, there are more than 5,000 known species of dragonflies, all of which, along with dra mm, damselflies, belong to the order Odonata, not sure if I pronounced that right, which means toothed one in Greek and refers to the dragonfly's serrated teeth. Yikes. Should we move over to that color spot? Only pain with some color in it. That's kind of cool. Come on. It feels kind of counterintuitive. There. Ooh, even the edge has some serration. Four, in their larval stage, which can last up to two years, dragonflies are aquatic and eat just about anything. Tadpoles, mosquitoes, fish, other insect larvae, and even each other. Yikes. Five, at the end of its larval stage, the dragonfly crawls out of the water. Then its exoskeleton cracks open and releases the insect's abdomen which had been packed in like a telescope. Its four wings come out and they dry and harden over the next several hours to days. Well, if that's not some alien stuff right there, I really don't know what is. Can we say that again? I need to process that. Then its exoskeleton cracks open and releases the insect's abdomen, which had been packed in like a telescope. Wow. Okay. Six. Dragonflies are expert flyers. They can fly straight up and down, hover like a helicopter, and even mate mid-air. <laughs> if they can fly, they'll stop. Or excuse me, if they can't fly, they'll starve because they only eat prey they catch while flying. Hmm. Okay. Who's curious about this crossbody? Ooh. 
7. Dragonflies catch their insect prey by grabbing it with their feet. They're so efficient with hunting that in one Harvard University study, the dragonflies caught 90 to 95 percent of the prey released into their enclosure. All right. Eight. The flight of the dragonfly is so special that it has inspired engineers who dream of making robots like dragonflies. Let's put this. Nine, some adult dragonflies live for only a few weeks, while others live up to a year. Ten, nearly all of the dragonfly's head is eye, so they have incredible vision that encompasses almost every angle except right behind them. Good to know. If you ever want to sneak up on a dragonfly, it's going to have to be from behind. in here. Eleven. Dragonflies, which eat insects as adults, are a great control on the mosquito population. A single dragonfly can eat thirty to hundreds of mosquitoes per day. Well, hundreds of dragonflies of different species will gather in swarms, either for feeding or migration. Little is known about this behavior, but the Dragonfly Swarm Project is collecting reports on swarms to better understand the behavior. It offers a link to report a swarm. Thirteen. Scientists have tracked migratory dragonflies by attaching tiny transmitters to wings with a combination of eyelash adhesive <laughs> and superglue. They found that green darners from New Jersey traveled only every third day and an average of 7.5 miles per day, though one dragonfly traveled 100 miles in a single day. Picking up some of the iridescence. Fourteen. A dragonfly called the globe skinner has the longest migration of any insect. Eleven thousand miles back and forth across the Indian Ocean. a long way. And that is the dragonfly, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the dragonfly's wing, I should say. I thought maybe some of those windows weren't there, but as you get closer, each one looks pretty intact, except for this little break at the end. Right there.
Maybe that's too close. There. It's like you can see the fiber of the paper through the little windows. Whoops. Why isn't that fun? All right. Do you have any suggestions for what we should throw under the microscope next? Shoot me a message.